there there is always more that can be done and I think that uh, if I've learned anything it's that the more we can communicate the more we can reach out and help the public understand the commitment that Ola has, the partnership that we have, the expectation that we have for institutions to um, follow the rules and to self-report and to make their programs better, but also the partnership that extends to, to the NIH mission, which is advancing the public's health and how the, the, every day there, there is um, research going on with animals that not only benefits the patients and their families, but also may end up benefiting their pets or just the, the greater community in general, the w wild animals or, you know, just, just um, the advancement of science and the advancement of our knowledge and understanding of of, of, of the world we live in. And that career involves working with the animals to impress on them the privilege that they have been given to be able to, to use animals in research. And along with that privilege is the, the serious responsibility to ensure the care and appropriate use of those animals. I think it would it would go a long way. I, I've um, struggled with how do we invoke this process. There's ways to do it, you know, possibly we should be doing uh, maybe with Primer or others, bringing these people to in, into the fold more or encouraging them through outreach efforts. But I think that that's that's a, would be a starting point would be to to engage the next generation and get them um, truly part of, part of it and not that they many of them already are sensitized and and do have have this but to to, to really um, keep them tracking this and not, not losing sight of it throughout their careers too.